Hello fellow YouTubers, it's me Tom Versal here, it's been a while since I've said that. Um, today I'm going to be kickstarting a new series, hopefully, and um, this is Controller Critic, uh, where I will be taking a look at weird and strange controllers, um, not the mainstream ones like GameCube and all that, because we all know about them. Just going to look at some quirky, weird ones, and in episode 1, I've decided to pull out the game stick now this my version of this controller or well my controller looks dirty as hell with the thumbsticks and that's because as a kid or well at least when I got it I like colored it in with blue felt tip pen and it's made it go all yellowy and stuff but never mind that see the blue ink <laughs> that I coloured it in, I don't know why, uh, but still we're just going to review the controller regardless of what like what condition it is basically. And this is the game stick controller, um, basically the game stick is a plug and play console sort of, it's actually a micro console you know like the Ouya and um, Mojo and things like that. So this is the console, it gets stored in the top, you slide this up, it's kind of hard to do, and that's the console, and you plug that into your HDMI and you can play, uh, but mine never worked, so that's great, but I use this controller for emulation on my phone. So. Let's go over the controller. On the bottom of the controller, you can see what player you are, 1, 2, 3, or 4, and there's the um, charger for it, it's just a standard charger, you know, micro USB. On the left there's nothing, and on the right there is also nothing. On the back, you've got the slide, uh, some information about it. It's got a really horrible, foamy feel, like a rubbery feel. The rest of it's nice plastic, like a Wii controller, but this bit's horrible. Um, I don't know why they decided to do that. And that's why this is all yellowed and got pencil all over it and ink. Yeah. And on the top, you've got the console itself. The console does need a supply. And, um, sorry for a jump cut. My dad shouted again. But well, again, for the first time. You've got the L1 button and an R1. It's only got two bumpers, but these are really nice well-made bumpers large and in a just a perfect position I mean what more could you ask for this is where it gets interesting the front of it uh, it's got really weird small grips and it's really blocky uh, as you could probably tell just from looking at it this is a home menu sort of button I can imagine ABXY just like the um, Xbox and Dreamcast the reason I never upload anymore is because my phone always messes up and this is a new phone but it just always overheats. But as I was saying, ABXY, these are very tactile, well made feeling buttons. They don't feel cheap at all and overall the controller doesn't really feel cheap in my opinion. Some may disagree but that's my opinion. They're in a perfect position as well and they just feel great. Back and start, again like the Xbox, there's probably a lot of Xbox um, inspiration for this controller with the ABXY home menu back and start. The D-pad itself is actually horrible. I mean, it's, it feels nice texture-wise. It's a nice plastic and it's a good size in a good position, but it just feels really cheap and horrible and meh. there's no grip on it either. You'll just slide right off that thing even if it feels nice. Uh, power button to turn it on and the thumbsticks as you may have noticed other than mine being dirty they're really massive I don't know why they went with this design but it doesn't it doesn't feel bad I guess that's probably just because it's more like a retro looking controller with how square it is they click in though and most controllers that are like a proper company when they click they're horrible but this just feels nice this feels sort of like a 360 uh, other consoles as well 
So overall, the Game Stick controller for comfort is not the best. I mean, I find it quite comfortable, but the back bit's annoying uh, with how it feels, and it's really square, and if they didn't go with this unique square blocky retro design, they could have probably got triggers in. But it doesn't feel too bad, and the button placement is nice. For build quality, I would say it's very good, to be honest. Um, obviously, it's not going to be on par with a Microsoft or Sony or Nintendo, but it's pretty good, you know. It's not bad at all. Um, I mean, if Microsoft came out with this as their controller, the build quality, not the design, I would be okay with that, because this feels pretty damn good for... Um, not a big company. I don't even know who made it. And, of course, what would I rate this controller? Probably about a 5 out of 10. It gets some things right, some things wrong. Um, and I never got to use it in action, so I can't say how responsive it is. But when I was using it for emulators, it was very responsive, worked very well, and it's comfortable. It's quite retro, buttons are nice, analog sticks, everything's great, so 5 out of 10, it's run of the mill, it's middle, it's a good controller overall. Not too bad, not too good. So, um, I'm just showing my face because you might not watch my second channel and you might want to see me, I don't know, it might, I don't know. Um, Thank you for watching this first episode of Control Critic on the Game Stick controller. Um, and hopefully this becomes a series. Uh, stay epic.